This is Twit. It's feedback time. Triple A at twit.tv. Three four seven show A A A. That's going to come in real handy a little bit later in the show. I like to revel in the community. Like it's we're having a conversation here as if we're all hanging out. Totally. At, 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 at Android, you know, at, at the Android uh, t- tavern, we're all chatting, chatting yeah. up. So. Yeah, exactly. Right. We're we're not here because we know everything. We're just here because right. we enjoy talking about everything. So exactly, there it never is. claim to know everything. In fact, <laughs> sometimes purposely not know enough so you can correct us. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we appreciate when you do. Jared wrote in first email says, "I'm searching for a new TV. I've settled on the TCL 55 inch six series. I didn't really want a Roku TV, but it seems like they have taken over the TV software market. Well, lo and behold, there are two options for this TV. One with Roku Roku TV and one with Google TV. The 55R635 is the Roku version. The 55R646, the Google version. My whole family uses Pixel phones. I'm thinking that getting the Google TV version is the way that I should go. And editorial note, I think you are right. Uh, Jared says, I've never used Google TV before. Is their software solid these days? Anything I should be aware of? Going to the Google TV software from the dumb, non-smart TV I've had for years. Uh, I assume Chromecast should work better than the dongle version we've been using. So I'm going to stop there and then I'll read the rest uh, in a second. Uh, Anything you should be aware of going to the Google TV software from a dumb, non-smart TV that you've had for years? I mean... I don't have Google TV on my on my device downstairs. You know, I have an Nvidia Shield which has Android TV on it, so it's not quite Google TV, and they are different, even though they sh- really should be the yep. same. Um, but I would say that the the general caution when this is baked into the TV is that eventually that software will be outdated. Like like eventually the hardware inside the TV, um, it, like it's like the software moves on from the hardware. So it's you know best case scenario, it's almost best to have a dumb TV and then to get a smart, a set top box, because then you can refresh the set top box when you really need to. Would you agree with that, Ron? Or do you, do you feel differently about that? I a hundred percent. I, I, I've told the story on the show before, but, uh, early, early, early days at revision three, when I worked at revision three alongside Patrick Norton, friend of the show, Patrick Norton, um, we had lots, uh, him and Robert Heron and myself and, and, um, uh, Roger Chang and all the, all the all the great all the great gang over there. We talked a lot about TVs and you know Roku was starting to come out and Apple TV had just come out and set top boxes and all this sort of stuff. And I remember it was Patrick who said, you know, always you know buy a dumb monitor and that way you can plug whatever you want into it, and mm-hmm. you'll never be beholden to uh, having to update the software on the TV or anything like that. And I followed that. I've I, you know I followed that best I can. It's very hard these days. To find a TV without smart TV sort of stuff, um, to the point where you know I have a smart TV, I have a Samsung frame um, that I have a Chromecast uh, with, Google, with Google TV plugged into it. I don't use any of the Samsung smart TV functions because previously I bought a Vizio that I was like, oh, I bought a Vizio that has Chromecast plugged into it, like integrated into it. I won't need the dongle. How great is that? And then Vizio never updated that version of Chromecast mm. on that TV ever mm-hmm. again. Like so. This yeah. is what happens. Well, so, like, yep. I, I definitely go by the go by the the adage of buy a TV and plug stuff into it. So, yeah, if you can. I mean, at, having said that, like, I actually really do like Google TV software and Android TV sure, software. Yeah. I, I, you know, as an Android user, um, I, I like it. Like, I think yeah. it, it does it well. But you know, you just might run into a situation somewhere down the line where like it's not being updated anymore. And that's just the reality, the stupid reality of smart TVs today, I feel like. And I I don't know how it compares to Roku TV. I've never had a Roku TV. Apparently they're good. You know, apparently people like them, but I don't know how it compares. I can't directly compare um, between the two personally. Um, Now, continuing with your email, Jared, you said side note. In case you have Robert Heron on, as Ron just mentioned, Robert Heron, uh, <laughs> he says, uh, "Does the Google version really not have Dolby Vision HDR10 hybrid log gamma uh, that the Roku version has? Am I giving up video quality on the set just to get Google service instead of Roku's?" And to that, Jared, I say, "Good news. I read the uh, PC Mag article." a review, very glowing review of uh, the Google TV version of this device. And it spells out specifically, it does support HDR10, it does support support Dolby uh, Vision, and it supports HLG. So you're good, you're in the clear. So I think if you're going between those two devices, you have Pixel phones, 
I mean, I don't see why you go with Roku unless there's a specific reason that you're like, you know, but I love Roku and it's for this very reason. Like, go Google TV. I would like I to add something. Happy. Yeah. Um, oh, I have a Hisense uh, Roku TV and yeah. it's totally different. I mean, they hide, they hide, if you're like a person who likes to mess with the uh, advanced controls, the Roku version is horrible at that. You, you have to oh. jump through all these hoops to use it. So if you want to use all these features and have... You know, control over them. Don't get the Roku TV. No Interesting. What yeah, because I have HDR10 and Dolby Vision on my TV, and it's like it's. You have to use the the app, the Roku app, on your phone to change some of the advanced features. You cannot con- oh. change any of them on the TV. You can change some, but not all. And that's but, just like infuriating. Yeah, I mean that's that's certainly inconvenient. But you can but you do have access to changing those features if you really need to. Theoretically. Um, Theoretically. I yes, most of them. I still yeah. haven't been able to get the Roku app. I gave up. I just like it just making my blood <laughs> pressure go crazy. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, you know, I don't yeah. need to turn down like you know, one thing and it's just obnoxious. Yeah. 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 Cool. Thank you, Burke. Sure. Um, that's that's super useful. Um, so there you go, Jared. I hope that uh, that convinces you one way or the other. Or maybe at the end of this, you're like, oh, maybe I'll just keep searching for a dumb TV. Uh, you know, I, it's it's we, up to you. I, but uh, I feel like go. we are definitely. I mean, like I don't buy t- new TVs often. Um, you know, I bought that Vizio I mentioned back in 2016 or something like that, and yeah, then I bought yeah. the the Samsung frame. Uh, you know, a little less than a year ago. Um, so, you know, every four years or so, but I, in shopping for TVs and browsing and like even walking around Best Buy and things like that, it does feel like we are entering in bloatware mode with TVs and have been there for a while, I think, you know, like my, um, my, my my in-laws got LG smart TVs and are using the smart TV stuff in there. And I'm like going through and I'm seeing what was already been installed and like, you know, like logging them into Hulu, logging them into HBO, HBO Max, you know, they use YouTube TV and just like the navigation, there's so much noise there and there's so much stuff going on with it. It, it doesn't feel great to me. It doesn't feel mm-hmm. elegant these days. Yeah. So. Yeah. And things yeah. start to get slow. Yeah. We've got a Samsung TV downstairs. Uh, you know, at this point, I think it's three years old. Gosh, it feels yep. like just yesterday. And now suddenly it's three years old. And I mean, there are times, you know, where I like try and pull up the menu and it's like it waits for two seconds. Oh, you know what, though? It appears, there is a silver oh. lining, though. Because if, if he's not used to any other smart TV, like, it's, they're all any of them are great, especially compared to the smart, the smart um, features of your cable box, for example. Like, mm. yep. it, the, the yeah. me, just using the menu on my cable box is agonizing you know, even for <laughs> yeah, the yeah, same yeah. apps it's like crazy and then i go to the the s- smart tv version of like netflix and it's instantaneous instantaneous wow hmm. so interesting interesting 